Hi everybody, it is Miss April. Um, we're here back today for our critter time this morning. I'm waiting for some friends to join me. Um, I've got a few announcements to give this morning and my brother's texting me. Hi Tony, I'm on now. Hopefully you're watching um, or you're able to find us. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got some announcements. We got some really cool things going on. We've got um, our pies that came in this morning, bright and early to the center. There's somebody. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a minute or so and we'll let a few more people get on um, and then we'll go ahead and get started. We've got um, our critter time this morning. We've got two new um, videos that went um, on our YouTube channel this morning. I hope you guys are enjoying them. Hi, Karen. Hi, Miss Karen. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying those. The teachers are having a lot of fun making them. Um, and we're trying to get teachers from all of the different centers to um, make some. So hopefully your kiddo will be able to see their teacher soon. Um, but like I said, we're gonna have at least two going up every day. Um, and we plan on doing that until we um, are able to, to open our doors again, so. Um, hi, Azalea in Jersey. Nice to see you guys. I miss you. All right, so um, the two videos that went on YouTube this morning, like I said, for you people that are still early risers, um, they're gonna uh, launch every morning at 6 a.m. The two that we have, um, uh, that went on today was a circle time with our Gator Room teacher, Miss Madison. She's always so much fun. Um, and then we also had a story time with Miss Anna. She's reading, I believe, Bear Sees Colors today. And both of those teachers are from our Evergreen Center. So make sure to get on and um, check those out. Hi, Maya. Um, Let's see, um, also our virtual spirit day today is family game night. So if you guys are playing a game tonight, um, snap a picture of you guys playing it and um, email it to Miss Emily at littlejewels.emilyj at gmail.com. Um, those pictures have been awesome to see. I know just for myself, I still get to see the students and um, see what everybody's up to. If you don't have a game night planned tonight, that's okay. I think my family's playing clue clue junior tonight something like that um just take a picture of uh the actual game and you can send that to miss emily as well and she'll get it up there for you hi Paige. hi ivy so many friends joining us today all right so youtube check it out um virtual spirit day family game night um get those pictures to miss emily um also after i'm done today i'm getting ready to post a video um of Miss Teresa from the Butterfly Room at Oakland, and that will be posted here um, on Facebook. Um, she is asking that you guys send her some art activities. She has an empty bulletin board. Um, she wants some stained glass art activities. Um, and then she's asking that you guys mail them to the center, or you can drop them off if you want, um, at our Oakland facility. Um, which is out by Ovation Theater. Um, so you can either mail it to her or um, there's a little, we have one of those share book libraries outside. You guys can stick it in there too and we can get it as well if that's easier for you. Um, uh, but I will be posting her video afterwards. She's gonna put all the art up in her bulletin board and then she's gonna share pictures of it afterwards, which I think is really cool. Um, let's see, Emma and Ellie are here today. Miss Latrice and Miss Alicia, hi guys. Um, my son, Parker. Hi, Parker. He wasn't able to um, join us for the live again today because he sleeps in really late, but we'll get him back here um, again soon. Uh, Miss Taylor. Good morning, Miss Taylor. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, it's Teresa. Um, oh, like I said earlier, um, the pies are in. You should be getting notification from your um, directors later today. If you haven't already, check Bright, or Bright Wheel, check your email. Um, but pies are in. If you ordered pies, you will be able to pick them up at the centers um, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. either today or tomorrow. If that doesn't work for you, just shoot us an email and we'll get a time figured out that works better for you guys. All right. Um, Let's see, I, that might be all the announcements I have for today, I think. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started with our Critter Talk since we have some people on here. 
<laughs> yeah, it's okay, Parker. I ordered you pie. Don't worry. All right. So our critter today is coming from our Evergreens. No, I'm sorry, our Oakland Center. I'm at Evergreen today. I'm in the coming at you live from the zebra room. Uh, or not zebras, sharks. Guys, I don't even know what day it is. It's Thursday, right? Okay. Um, but I am in the shark room, but our critter today is coming from our Oakland facility. So here are the critters that we have to choose from today. We have our bears which are, uh, is one of our twos rooms. Bumblebees is our toddlers. Elephants is our pre-K. Giraffe is our, one of our threes rooms. Tigers is twos. Ladybug is our older infants. Butterflies is our young infants. Lions is a toddler room. Um, our moose room is a three-year-old room. Eagles is our other pre-K with our fours and fives. And then we have our zebras, which are our school age um, kiddos over at Oakland. So those are the critters that we have to choose from today. Good morning, Savannah. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I will tell you, I honestly did not think coming up with these clues was going to be so hard. So I'm doing my best here. All right, ready? Um, <laughs> the first one we have, um, our first one is, our critter today is not an insect. So if you guys want to go ahead and um, put it in there, if our critter is not an insect, which ones do I need to cross out today? Hi, Natalie and Elliot. It's nice to see you guys. I'm glad you're here. And Miss Kara is watching us today. My goodness. All right. So our critter today is not an insect. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, crossing some out. Hi, Braylon and Liam. Parker says we need to cross out our ladybug. I agree, Parker. We're gonna cross out our ladybug. And there's a couple more that we're gonna cross out today. Good job, Heath. Um, we are gonna cross out our bumblebee. And one more that we're gonna consider an insect today. Parker, Parker, we already discussed this. It's not fair for you to guess. All right, and the butterfly. Good job, Savannah. We're going to cross out our butterfly today, okay? So we are three down from our 11 critters. All right, we have our next clue is our critter today does not have stripes or a pattern. It does not have stripes or a pattern. So I believe this is going to take out three more. So which one should we say today? Hi, Addison. All right. No stripes and no patterns. So we're gonna go ahead and take out, I'm waiting for some to come up, but I'm sure you guys are, are yelling them out at home. We're gonna go ahead and take out the tiger. All right, the tiger, because the tiger has stripes. We're also gonna go ahead and take out, oh, Ivy, good job, no giraffe. Because the giraffe has that pretty pattern on it. So no giraffe today. And then we have one more that we're gonna take out. Heath, yes, the zebra is our last one, good job. We're gonna take out the zebra. All right, so after clue number two, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, over half of our critters gone today. All right, so our next clue will be, our critter today is usually found by lakes or in wooded areas. Lakes are in wooded areas. So that's gonna take out a couple more here. I'll give you guys just a second. Just a second um, and we'll take out some more. I think, let's see, when I think of a lion, I think that that's probably more in like a jungle area or out in like a desert. So we're going to cross out our lion. All right. And then I would say, let's see, eagles are usually, they can be found lots of places, but they can be found in wooded areas or flying around um, water. Um, elephants, I think, probably are not usually found in the woods either. So we're going to cross out the elephants. 
All right. All right, and then, so that leaves us with eagles, moose, and bear. I think all of those can probably be found in wooded type areas. So we're gonna move on to our next clue with that one. Um, our next one is, our critter that we're talking about today does not fly. It does not fly. So that's definitely gonna take one of them out. Which one should we take out? Does anybody wanna take a guess? All right, are you guys still with me today? Thank you, Heath. Heath says the eagle, that's right, the eagle flies. So we're gonna take out our eagle today. Oh, and Aurora. Thank you, Aurora. Good job. All right. So we have two left. We have our moose room and we have our bears. So those are the last two. Are you guys ready for the last clue? Our last clue is the critter that we're talking about today has antlers. Our critter has antlers today. So um, do bears have antlers, guys? I don't think so. So we're gonna cross out our bear. And we have our critter for today. Our critter for today is the moose. Good job, Ivy. All right. Good job, Heath. Heath, is it just you today or your sister's with you too? Good guessing today. All right. So our critter for today is the moose. And what we're gonna do for our activity is we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna read a book. I know you guys have read this before because we actually have a week where we celebrate this author all week long here at Little Jewels. And our author today is Laura Numeroff. So we're gonna read one of my favorite books, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. Oh, <laughs> all right. Hi, Hartley and Aubrey. I'm glad you guys are here too. All right, let me grab a drink. We'll go ahead and start with our story. Are you ready? If you give a moose a muffin, I'm going to do my best to make sure you guys can see the pictures here. All right. If you give a moose a muffin, you see them? Moose are really big animals. I went to Minnesota many, many years ago and just driving down the street, you could see them walking. Um, next to the road and they're huge when you see them in person. They're a lot bigger than you think they would be. But when you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So, you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. I like jam too, but I would have to say strawberry is probably my favorite. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll ask for another and another and another. And when they're all gone, he'll ask you to make some more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix and he'll want to go with you. Moose at the grocery store. I can't even take my kids to the grocery store right now. That's silly. All right. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. I hope we have a big sweater. When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose and he'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing and the button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. Socks make puppets. That's a good idea, make puppets with socks. And he'll make sock puppets. Look at him, he is hard at work. Have you guys been doing crafts like this too at home? I bet you have. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. And he'll need some cardboard and some paints. 
Hopefully you guys have some of this fun stuff at home that you could be doing some art activities too. And then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. Oh, look at that. He's working hard, isn't he? When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. Those big old antlers, that's what gave it um, our critter away today. He has those big antlers, huh? And you'll, br oh, so he'll ask for something to cover them up and you'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween and he'll try it on and he'll shout. Boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock the paints over. Uh-oh, now we have a big old mess. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess, and then he'll ask you for some soap to help wash it out. At least he's helping clean up his mess, huh? He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside and he'll put the, sh the sheet on the clothesline. And when he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Oh, those look yummy. Has anybody started their garden when they're home? Now's a great time to start your garden. Um, seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam the blackberry jam that they ate at the beginning of the story, and he'll probably ask you for some of it. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. Thank you, friends, for joining me again today and reading our story um, for Critter Time. Reminders, get on our YouTube channel, uh, Little Jewels Blooming to Normal. We've got some great videos out there for you guys to watch um, with your families. Send your pictures of family game night to Miss Emily today, littlejewels.emilyj at gmail.com. Uh, I'm going to post Miss Teresa's vi video right after this. Um, so you guys can get your stained glass art projects going and then um, hopefully we'll get them to the center and then we can put them up on the bulletin board. It's going to be fun. And then um, lastly, check out or make sure that you're um, listening for information about where to pick up your pies today. And thank you again for everybody that sold pies. I don't have an exact amount actually that we made for St. Jude, but I'll try to get that so that maybe we can announce that tomorrow. And then um, lastly, oh, we're gonna have a, actually a contest coming up next week. We're still trying to work out the logistics, but we have some prizes to give you guys. And we wanna thank you for joining us every day. Um, and we wanna get um, just a little something back out to you. So um, I will see you again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Have a good day. Get outside and play if you can. It's nice and warm today. Bye everybody.